I'm Tara Burns, and I am a graduate student with the Specialty Crops Program at CSU. These past few years, we've been studying the effects of intercanopy lighting on hydroponically grown tomatoes. In this study, we used new, state-of-the-art Philips Green Power interlighting. While traditional top lighting is only overhead, these LED lights are on tracks that can be dropped into the growing canopy, illuminating leaves that would normally be shaded from light. The two treatments for the study were lighted with interlighting only and unlighted with no supplemental light applied. To analyze treatment effects on both growth and productivity, we measured vegetative dry weights, fruit yield and quality, and active photosynthesis. Fruit yield, separated into marketable and unmarketable fruit, was measured to tease out the total productivity of each plant as well as the average individual fruit weights. For fruit quality, we measured pH and soluble solids using a digital refractometer to measure bricks. In this study, we also assessed active photosynthesis using a Lycor infrared gas analyzer. This tool inputs 400 parts per million of CO2 while clamped to a living leaf, and measurements are taken based on how much of that CO2 is absorbed by the leaf. This study was repeated three times, each for a period of approximately four months. Two of these studies occurred during naturally increasing day lengths and one during naturally decreasing day lengths. Gas exchange measurements taken in the morning showed significant increases in the lighted plants compared to unlighted plants. This would indicate a higher photosynthetic rate in leaves illuminated by inner canopy lighting. Although we saw an increase in gas exchange measurements, overall vegetative growth and fruit yield did not increase. This could be due to interlight measurements dropping off quickly, as seen in the PAR map. Before beginning the experiment, the photosynthetic active radiation of the LED lights were measured and recorded using a full spectrum quantum meter. Measurements were taken at various angles every half inch. These measurements were averaged and used to create the PAR distribution map you see here. In conclusion, the added cost of LED interlighting was likely not justified by increased productivity at this time.